Hello and welcome back to episode 42 of Take to the Sky, St Albans FC. We're back today for the playoffs. After the draw with Chesterfield in the last episode, we had a fantastic end to the season. We beat Kettering Town 2-0, Aldershot 3-0, Ebbsfleet 5-1 and then a 1-1 draw with Boreham Wood with a bit of a rotated side to end the season. And today we're playing Ebbsfleet once again. This time at home we were away in the game where we beat them 5-1. But surely that's a positive going into a game where we've played in a team that we've recently absolutely thrashed. And then, if we do win that, we've got the semi-final today as well. Let's go and get into it. On the lineup for today, we've got Emery in goal, a back four of Harper, Marcez, York and Sanders. Egan and Smith are in the midfield, with Lopez on the right, Rourke on the left, and Hunter and Rolt up front together. In that last game we played against them, Rourke, uh, but Rolt got a hat trick, so hopefully we can get another one today. And we've got a corner 13 minutes in. Rolt sends it in, and York with the header, but sends it over the bar. And they have brought a packed out away end to the stadium today. It's thrown for Ebbsfleet, 23 minutes gone. It's back to Wood. He goes inside to Caraman and inside to Sheaf. Plays it forward towards Bingham, but Egan does well to head it away. But it's back to Wilton, who's got Rickard ahead of him. Rickard, sorry. He takes it down the right-hand side. Chance for a cross here. Sanders does really well to block that. And then O'Rourke with a poor clearance away. Sheaf collects it back to Agastiz. He plays it to Bingham. Rickard back to Bingham. And the shot is a wild shot that goes well wide. We've got a free kick now. Harper sends it in. And Martinez doesn't score because he was offside. Uh, we're going to encourage them though. That's a you know, it's a positive. We've had the ball in the back of the net. The net so it's something. Well, we've reached half time. It is still 1-0. Not quite running away with it like we did a couple of games ago. But we are still doing well. You know, level... At the break, I think we've got a strong chance of going out there in the second half and hopefully sealing a win for us. We're going to make our first change here, sending Moriarty on and Bell on. So up front replacing Hunter and on the left replacing O'Rourke who was struggling again today. And now 20 minutes to go. We're going to bring Smith off for Woods because Smith is looking very tired. Hopefully Woods can create something towards the end of the second half. And it's a goal kick, well, free kick, sorry, for Dixon for Ebbsfleet. He launches it upfield. Woods heads it out to Bell on the wing, who takes it straight past his man. And he's got space to run into. He's got Rolt inside. Passes it to Rolt, whose shot is saved by Dixon. Rolt should really be doing better with that. But we have got a corner. So the attack isn't over yet. Woods eventually. Crosses it in towards the far post. York's there and Dixon with another good save. And that one, to be fair, was just a very good save. We're straight back in with another highlight that Hurst heads away to Bingham. And he sends it out to Ricard on the right. But Sanders intercepts, plays it forward to Bell, who goes inside. Plays it across to Lopez. He crosses and Rolt has smashed it into the top corner and in the 86th minute we have found a breakthrough and St Albans FC lead 1-0 in the playoff quarterfinals in essence it's called the first round but that's not important Rolt absolutely smashing that one in and we lead 1-0 very late on we don't need to see this do we Oh, that's actually very close. Very, very close, but onside nevertheless. We've got a late highlight here. Harper plays it inside to Martinez and then launches it across field to Woods, who heads on, but it's only as far as Jackson. Campbell collects it from him. And there was a very good tackle there. And then York with a good block, but it's cleared out for a throw-in. 
They've got another highlight now, Campbell on the ball. And Lopez has basically just kicked him, which is fine. It breaks up their attack. We've been able to get men back. Sheaf with the free kick from deep. And it's gone all the way over and out for a goal kick. And surely now we're going to get a final whistle. Emery taking his time. Plays it short to York. Egan, Woods, and that is full time. State Albers FC are in the playoff semi-finals in the National League. And it's all thanks to that goal from Rolt at the end. Looks like we had a brilliant chance there that wasn't on camera. Or is that the Rolt chance? I can't, I don't know how to read these. It looks like it was the Rolt chance. We're into the semi-final. So, let's go and have a look at who we're going to be playing. We've got the playoff semi-final draw, which I didn't know existed. But ideally here, we just don't want Scumfort because we know how good they are. Probably Oldershot would be our favoured opposition. York are the first team out the hat. They'll play Aldershot, which means we are away to Scumfort for the semi-final. That is going to be a tough game. When you look at our past meetings, it doesn't look great for us. We've lost three times. It's always been narrow losses. So maybe the fact that we're coming into this game in a lot of form, how did they end? They also ended the season pretty well, though. But our form, I think we've got an outside chance here of uh, getting a result. And it's time for that playoff semi-final. We've got Emery in goal, the back four of Harper, Martinez, York and Sanders. Bell is on the right. Woods and Carter in midfield, and then Toraj returns on the left, and then it's Rolt and Moriarty up front. So, as you know, we've against the team who's beat us three times this season. So it's a tough ask, but let's see if we can pull it off. A free kick for Scumfort from far out, and Emery makes a good save diving to his left. But it's a corner still, so there is danger here. Elliot whips it in. Toraj does well to head away, who is leaving at the end of the season. Now we've got a throw in for Scunthorpe. 20 minutes gone. Throws it into Benaroos, who finds Elliot Sewell with a bit of space to run at. York blocks his shot, though. And it's back to Bowden. Elliot Sewell plays it to James. He's got a bit of space. Aziz hits the post, and then Sanders... Does really well to prevent him getting back to the ball. Now we've got a free kick on the right with Harper. He goes in behind to Moriarty, who shoots, hits the post, and it falls kindly for Toraj, who puts his 1 0 up in the playoff semi final. And all of a sudden, we are leading, possibly for the first time this season, against Scunthorpe. And it's all come from that vision from Harper. Moriarty is unlucky, but Toraj finishes it very nicely, and St. Albans lead. We've now got another free kick for Harper. Be very impressed if we can score from this one. He goes long to Elliot for them. John collects it from him. Elliot plays it through for Benaroos, and Emery with another good save. And we have reached half time 1 0 up. So, uh, Scunthorpe having a slightly better XG. But of course, the chance we did create was a big chance. And yeah, we're in at half time in the lead, so we can't complain too much. Let's see if we can keep it up in the second half and come out of this on top. Throwing for Scunthorpe here. It's thrown into Belarus, back to Alibioso. York heads away, but Bowden's going to collect that. Forward to James, back to Bowden. He sends out to Alibioso on the left. Benaroos back to Alibioso and his shot goes over the bar. We've got a free kick straight away. Woods crosses it in towards the far post and Moriarty was there. But it's a weak header that Watson easily saves. And we're going to make our first change here on the hour mark. We're going to bring Rolt into the middle. And Moriarty is going to be taken out for Connings, making a return to the team. 
and go into the four two three one, and then I'm thinking maybe after after another fifteen minutes or so, if we're still leading, we'll drop back into a four five one. In fact, we might even do this now, so that we're already a little bit more compact. And twenty minutes to go, we're going to send Egan on. No. What are we going to do? We're going to send Lopez on for Bell on that right hand side. And now we've got five minutes to go. I'm going to take a chance. We're going to. Oh. Nope. There we go. We're going to send Mensa on in the middle of the back five. Lopez is going to go there as an attacking midfielder. Conning's going to drop back to a deep line playmaker and we're really just going to try and hold on for these last five minutes now. It's a free kick for us. Emery goes long and it's gone all the way through to Rolt. Oh, and that, sh mm, that was a big chance for us to finish the game off. Duru plays it forward to John now. He's trying to find space on the left. Back to Duru. He goes out to... Jaleed, oh my god, and an absolute screamer has bought Scunthorpe level after Rolt had the best chance you could ever ask for to finish this game off. I'm sorry, but that is an absolute joke that he scored that. Unbelievable. We've got a very late throw in here. Harper on the right, throws it to Connings, cross goes in, Lopez is, did that hit the bar? I'm sure that hit the bar, we've gone to extra time, and now we're going to have to try and do something about this formation. Okay, so to start extra time, Egan has come on as a deep line playmaker for Woods and Connings is going to go on to the central midfield attack and then we're going to swap Lopez and Rolt so that we're a bit more spread out. But I was kind of banking on his holding on and it's not a lot I can do now. It's a free kick for Scunthorpe, 98 minutes gone. Cross goes in, Emery comes out and claims it well. And he is now going to go long it's gone through to Rolt behind oh and he's done it again he actually had a shot this time and he sent it wide half time in extra time we've just kicked off for the second half Rolt heads down to Connings he tries to find the ball through to Rolt but Scunthorpe have well covered Langston goes out to Jaleed on the right and Egan's there dispossesses him very nicely Plays it up the wing to Lopez who can't quite keep hold of it. Elliot gets tackled by Lopez though. Carter plays it short to Egan. Ball through towards Rolt. This is the third time this game. Oh and he's not scored it again. He's been so good for us this year. It's so consistent. We've got a corner though. Rolt with a chance to send it in. Goes to the far post. Well we've gone to penalties in the playoff semi-final and there's a lot of pressure on now let's um hands together keep fighting to the end the keeper's demotivated for some reason told everyone i've got faith in them only emery is unhappy with that for some reason out of interest is there a penalty thing for the keeper? There doesn't appear to be. So, never mind. This is the biggest moment in, say, or in the series so far. Egan steps up and scores the first penalty. Jaleed is going to step up for Scunthorpe, the man who scored the absolute screamer to equalise. And Emery saved it. Rolter is next up. 
I don't like penalty shootouts. I really don't. Rolt buries his penalty brilliant into the bottom left corner. Dobbin is stepping up next for Scunthorpe. Lines it up. Emma has saved it again. Connings steps up now. He's got a bruised knee. He was worried, but we've motivated him. And he scores it. We are in the best position we can be in in this penalty shootout right now. We've got a chance to save and score. If we save now, we're into the playoff final. He's hit the post. St Albans are in the playoff final from the National League in a game where I thought it was over when they got that equaliser. I thought we were going to be done for an extra time. Oh my goodness, what a result. <laughs> we've, we've pulled off unbelievable result there. And somehow, St Albans are in the playoff final. Let's go and have a look at who we're going to be playing in that come Sunday. And there we have confirmation. It's York versus St Albans in the playoff final. We're going to Wembley for it. And we are... I, I'm a little bit in shock. That we've got this far. Out of interest, York. Professional team. They were predicted to finish fifth. Past meetings has not gone well for us. But we saw how that went against Scunthorpe. It didn't matter. Their form coming into the playoffs. Not quite as good as ours, but still pretty good. But there we have it. They they qualified for a 90th minute goal as well. But we are off to Wembley. To play in front of probably not 90,000 fans. But it could be the biggest night in St Albans history. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Comment your prediction for that playoff game. At Wembley. Let me know what you think the result's going to be. Let me know. First goal scorer for St Albans. The final result. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you are enjoying the series. And thank you very much for watching.